Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, Geeky Fibro Mama here, or Sil, <laughs> either way. Um, so today I thought I'd let you know some chronic illness hacks that I use on a daily. Um, because I have fibromyalgia, which is a chronic pain condition. And excuse my hair, it's really fluffy, I washed it yesterday. So um, I thought I would let you in on a bit of the behind the scenes of having a chronic illness. So I'm just going to put you guys down for a second. I should have done that beforehand. Sorry. Um, so fibromyalgia has lots of different symptoms, not just pain, but pain is like a main symptom. You also have short-term memory impairment, brain fog. Me and my best friend who also has, Tally, who also has fibro, calls it brain frog because we can never say brain fog or fibro fog easily. Um, and one day we are going to get tattoos of a frog on our butts because fibro can kiss our butts. Um, but um, there's also fatigue and it normally comes with other illnesses such as I have borderline personality disorder, I also have depression and anxiety and excuse Dirk, he's got hay fever at the moment so he's coughing and sniffling in the other room. <laughs> um, so I'm on a lot of medication, there's also weight gain and all that fun stuff because you're not moving as much. I used to be a champion, like a competition martial artist who was a state champion and a national champion at one point. Um, but um, I had to leave that when I was 28 and so I've put on a lot of weight over the last 10 years since I've been diagnosed and and also at the moment I also have weakness in my legs which is not helping. So today I thought I'd give you, last year I did a, a fibro products that helped me video. So if I miss something go and have a look at that video. I'm sure it's got products that I forgot to put into this, pro into this one. So um we're going to start in the bedroom. Here we are, my lovely bedroom. It's purple. I love it. It was one of the reasons why I rented this place is because of all the beautiful colours. Um, so, first of all is medication. Now, I am on a lot of medication. Um, but I have this. Yeah. Um, Mary Fry from the Fry Life calls it a combler, and so, so do I. And I don't have any um, afternoon medications, but I do have morning and night. And this is very useful because... If I'm having a bad day, I can just say, Dirk, can you get me my morning meds out of my combler? And he can get them all there, ready to go. I don't have to try to explain to him what medications to get, which we have done in the past. I've been like, get me two of these, and two of these, and two of these. And I know it can be a bit frustrating for him, but also for me, because I forget my meds sometimes. So, if I have this, it can tell me if I've taken them. It was also only five bucks from Kmart. So, well worth the money, as far as I'm concerned. Also, I have all my beauty care stuff within reach of my bed. Like, I'll, I'll show you in just a sec. So, on this shelf here, I have all my hairsprays, body sprays, lip glosses, um, moisturizers, everything I could need that I could do at, in bed. I also have my jewelry and hair stuff so I can do it in the morning, in my bed, ready to go. This is this box here. I keep my spare meds in that aren't in the combo yet. So I know exactly where my meds are. And then over here on my very messy nightstand, I have my my um, cotton rounds. I have my cleansing wipes because I don't always have the strength to like wash my face at like with soap and water in the bathroom. So I have cleansing wipes there in case I need them. And I have my toner right there. I also have my computer next to my bed because if you're stuck in bed, at least you won't have something to entertain you. I have all my chargers near my bed. I have all my chargers in here. I have a um, USB to several different thing chargers. I have my wireless internet as well for when we're traveling, but I keep it here in case I need it. I also have different chargers for my different appliances. So it's all here. I also have my vision board in the back and a good light. And I have my monitor for Stormy, a drink, and my night creams down there. And day creams, like my moisturizers. On my bed, I have three different pillows. I have a boomerang pillow, which is really comfy when you want to snuggle something. I also have white teddy, which I will get in a second because he got kicked to the floor last night. He's somewhere. And then I have two regular pillows so that I can adjust my comfort as I need it. 
My husband also has three pillows, but that's just because I like things to be even. Mine is because I actually need it. I also have White Teddy to cuddle. He is my husband's childhood bear, but he's the perfect size to snuggle and have my shoulders at the right width apart so that they're not squishing my chest. And I also have two blankets. Now, excuse my bed, me and Stormy had a bit of a jumpy before she went to bed. So I have our quilt with our quilt cover, and then I have another blanket in case I get cold at night. So um, this is my bedroom setup, and next we'll get on to the lounge room. Okay, so this is my lounge, and I spend a lot of my time here, um, whether it's resting in between jobs or like day to day, or playing with Stormy because I can't lift her up, or whether it's um, I'm stuck on the bed on the couch for the day. So I have three different blankets here. I have this big one, I have a medium one, and then I have a light one. Um, and also I have one, three pillows on my lounge. Now on my phone, I have my to-do list for the day. I have pick three things each day to do. And if I don't get them done, then I don't get them done. Like I didn't get to clean the laundry in the office today. I didn't get to make chicken soup, but I am filming my video. So it's okay. Um, I'll add those to the list later in the week. But this is where I need to be focused. And normally the top one is the biggest focus. So I got these stickers from this sticker pad. You can do these with all sorts of different stickers. But I got these from um, Office Works. I got them. And they come with all sorts of different stickers. But these ones are the ones I like. Um, they're just square stickers that you can write on and stick them on the back of your phone. So I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out, but we'll find out. Um, also, I have my handbag. Now, my handbag is a small backpack. I can't use big backpacks. They take too much. Um, and I, I tend to put too much in there. So I've got a small backpack with a small... Um, front pocket where I keep my phone and keys and stuff and a bigger back pocket that I keep my to-do list, my journal, my bullet journal and my wallet. And that's all I basically carry around with me. Um, I can I can wear this on my back, which is hence a backpack, but I can wear this comfortably on my back when I use my cane or anything like that. And so that is my lounge room stuff and the stuff I use to help me in the lounge room. Okay, now we're in my la my bathroom and in my bathroom, yes I have a toddler, in my bathroom I have a less than $10 chair from Bunnings Warehouse that I use in the bath, in the shower to have a shower because of my legs and stuff. So I also have a bamboo brusher that I use for my back. And I have this little container that I hang here with all my little stuff in it, like my shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And my shower cap and everything in there, so it's within easy reach of the chair. And also, I'm lucky my place came with these. So I'm very lucky to have the extra support getting in and out. And that's my bathroom. Now for the fun thing that I use. So, excuse my back, uh, I haven't done the washing up yet, or Dirk hasn't, whoever's doing it tonight. But, I have this. It's an office chair on wheels. I can't stand up in the kitchen for very long periods of time. And so, let me put you here for a second. Move, lid. So, I roll around on this. I can push myself around my whole kitchen in this and I also use it in my office as a comfy seat for me when I am studying for long periods of time. If I'm just there for a short period I just use the one that's in there which is a uh, solid one. Stationary. Stationary is the word I was looking for. Stationary. But when I'm in the kitchen and I need to move around I use my wonderful wheeled one. And so I can just go wee <laughs> and I'll take you for a little ride with me. It is kind of fun, like all sorts of fun. It is one of the funnest things I've had to get for my chronic illness, which is great. So it goes, Whee! and, Whee! and, Whee! 
I'm a little obsessed. But I also have a bar saw. This is for when I'm doing stuff that needs me to sit for a long period of time, but I also need to little, be a little bit higher on the on the counter. So like if I'm needing bread or or even if Stormy wants to help, she can jump on this and would be about the same height. So um, I also have a stationary bar stool for the kitchen, but I really love my office chair. It's awesome. So another thing that we have gotten in the kitchen to help me is our dishwasher. It is only a small dishwasher. It's only enough for like a couple of pieces, like not a couple, it's, it does a decent amount, but it's like half the size of a regular dishwasher. And um, so it just goes in like that and up like that. So it's a small one, but I can help with the dishes, which is great because I can't help with the dishes standing up. So I can fill that up and away we go. So that's just some of the focus. That's just some of the adaptions and products I use and some hacks that I use as someone who has a chronic illness and wants to help around the house. Now I'm lucky I'm not bed bound or um, not as bed bound as I probably will be in the future. But for the moment, this is the things that I, I use to help me in my everyday life. Um, and I hope that it might help someone else. So, um, I'll see you tomorrow and like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. If you want, um, any more, um, thoughts or if you have any suggestions or thoughts or hacks that I could use. All right, guys. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. That's it guys and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you really, really liked it, subscribe and please continue to join us on our travels. Bye.